Hey campus, George here, sitting on the farm in California. Yeah, visiting my kids. Big day coming up for the eldest. So I had to be here to share it. But sitting down here, relaxing down by the pond. Very dry pond. California's hot today. But I found something in my pack that I packed when I flew out here. I forgot it was in there. So I thought I'd show it to you. Let's check it out. So now that the wind's picked up, I'll still show it to you. Here it is here. It's the old copy. Built on Since 1902, made from stainless slash carbon steel. Yeah. You know where it's made? Let's see. Huh. Made in South Africa. See there? Yeah, a copy, Biltong knife. Got to tell you, to be honest, this is a sentimental buy for me. I love Biltong. Not allowed to eat it anymore because, well, doctor's orders. Oh well, what do you do, huh? So I'm doing this one-handed, so bear with me here. It comes in a cool-looking box. Well packaged. <laughs> Let me get it out for you. Look at that. A thing of beauty. Biltong knife from a copy, South Africa. Let me open it up. Hold on. Sheep's foot. See that? Nail neck with the stainless slash carbon steel. Yeah. The handle? Uh, not sure what that is. I think the description is veneer impregnated wood. There it is there. Look at that. How does it work? Let me see if I can figure out how to hold the phone and show you. See, here it is here. See that? Has a steel clip on it. The blade is right there. See that? Nail neck. And like I said, sheep's foot. Here are the dimensions. Opening it up. It has a nail neck and you can use that if you want to. But the blade sticks out enough where you don't need to. Watch. Not using the nail neck. Pretty handy, huh? Well, I can tell you, like I said, this is a sentimental buy for me. Would I use it? Probably not. You can see on the blade there, a copy. Made in South Africa. See that? Looks nice until you look closely at it. Check this out. Now, there is some workmanship right there. That's going to need to be cleaned up. See the pin going through there? Huh. That can't be good. So I looked at the blade. See that little shiny piece there? Guess what that's from? When you close the blade, it hits that pin. Hmm. So don't bother sharpening that area of the blade because it's not going to work. But hey, sentimental. Something I can say, I have it. From South Africa. The main reason is biltong. It's called a biltong knife. And that got me. So there you go. Not much to look at. What can I say? Like, share, subscribe. You know the story. Pretty sure I'll be back with something a lot better. But I needed to share it with you. Just saying. You will be safe out there. Especially with something like this. Pay attention. See you again soon. <laughs>